Hi, Jack Hackett here with a Friday thought. Winter's definitely hit here in New South Wales and so this is one of the times of year I'm always grateful to be able to work from home as much as I can so I can put on my, my hoodie and my Ugg boots and my track pants and while I work and get really cosy. One of the many benefits of working for myself. Uh, it's end of almost towards the end of the financial year so today I thought I'd give you some financial information and as always when I give anything uh, related to any tips or advice related to finances in my consulting business it's really only concerning the processes and systems that I use that I find useful over the years it is I'm not giving any professional financial advice per se but I thought it might be helpful to for you to know what I do at this uh, this time of the year so throughout the rest of the year I um, use my bookkeeper and I've talked before about the huge benefits of using a bookkeeper in your business. It's one of the first things my mentor advised me to do all those years ago. I've had a bookkeeper ever since and there's a couple of good reasons to do this. Um, firstly, your bookkeeper is going to be very likely at least going to be much better and much more efficient at getting all your um, financial information uh, in order every quarter um, than, than you are. And they're also likely to be much quicker than you are and they're going to be at a lower, they're going to charge a lower daily rate than you do. So it really just doesn't make any financial sense for you to be spending time doing that. So I recommend getting yourself a bookkeeper. And um, so I use my accountant always at the end of the financial year. And, um, but one of the things I really want to do at this time of the year, at the end of May, is I want to get my bookkeeper involved a bit earlier than usual and have her bring all my paperwork. I know it's not paperwork anymore, it's in the cloud, but um, you know, bring all that information up to date for the 11th month of the financial year. And that's because I want my accountant to look over it a few weeks before the end of the financial year. So I get her to bring everything up to date, to get everything into the cloud, um, balance everything off, and then my accountant can then go and look at it. And then he can give me some advice about anything I should be doing in that last few weeks. A, to bring myself aligned with compliance, so I might need to pay a bit more money into my super fund, for example, or I might have surplus um, uh, profit that I could use legitimately to purchase some equipment, equipment or even pay additional over and above uh, funds into my super. So it just gives that, the accountant the heads up, gives me the heads up, and it gives me a few weeks to put things in order financially so that I'm in the best kind of um, financial position at the end of the financial year. So that's my tip for today. Don't wait till the end of the quarter to get your bookkeeper to um, bring everything up to speed. Um, do it now, do it early so that your accountant has, um, has that information in time to make any adjustments uh, before the end of the financial year. Uh, stay warm if it's cold where you are and have a great Friday.